Hi, my name is Eddie Jackson Jr. And this is Real True Street Crime. I want to tell you all about one of the worst days of my life. And I vowed I would do anything in this world when I got a chance to pay her back. Make them up Macomb County. Make them up County is Macomb County because they truly make up cases. Mary Scary, Mary Shanowski, Scary Mary Shanowski had my case. They had said I sold them a key of cocaine, which I had not done, done and they know I hadn't done it, but they done that to get my bond to be higher, to have me sit in jail. So they gave me a $4,000 bond because they say a, a key of cane costed $40,000 and my bond should be $4,000. So when I went back to court, Scary Mary, I tell her off the rip, I'm an innocent man and they have framed me. They said I sold them a key. She gonna act like she didn't even know nothing about that. And I told her, they said, and you know what she did? She told the prosecutor. She's a judge now. She's sitting behind the bench, and now she's helping the prosecutor. After I say that, she tell the prosecutor to reamend the indictment, to say I had six packs of co uh, hair on instead of a key of cocaine. Now, let me ask y'all a question. If the case start off, they say I had a key of cocaine, Two weeks later, when they come back for the arraignment, they arraign me for six packs of heroin. Now, the case went from me selling them a key of cocaine to me selling them six packs of heroin, and they had no buy money, no video evidence. They had over six or seven police cars at the McDonald's, surrounding McDonald's, waiting on me to come, and I'm looking at this. This guy is at McDonald's calling me for narcotics. When I go to McDonald's, I walk there and I look and I see undercover police everywhere. So I did not serve him. The police was watching. When the trial came, all of the FBI, not FBI, they were Macomb County Ice Patrol. Officer De Snyder was his name. He's a lying sack of shit, and I hope he get what he deserved one day for telling lies on all us Afro-American people, getting us time in jail, because he know goddamn well I never sold him nothing, because if you're a police officer, I do not know you. I have never served a police officer in my life. I have never served a police officer in my life, because if you're a police officer, I do not know you. And if I do not know you, I ain't selling you nothing. So the whole case goes to Officer Decider saying he saw me for five seconds come to McDonald's. You got six or seven other police cars there waiting for me to come to make this transaction. They did not see it. They didn't have this transaction on the camera of McDonald's because all this happened at a McDonald's right there on Macomb. McDonald's didn't have no footage of me serving them because I didn't do it. So the next day they catch me walking to 7-Eleven and say that's him and run and catch me and take me to jail. They didn't find nothing that day. No buy money from the previous day. They say I sold them a half a bundle for $60. They couldn't find the $60. They had no evidence of me making a transaction. Officer of Snyder was the only evidence they had. He said he was sure it was me, and I had a hoodie on over my head. I had a hoodie on over my head, he said, and it was me. I'm wearing a hoodie. Look down. He see me for five seconds, and he's so sure it's me. He has no buy money. They didn't take me into custody 
supposedly after whoever sold him the half a bundle, they didn't take him into custody. Here they come a day later fucking with me. And Mary Shinowski knew all of these facts and she gonna lock me up. That's why from that day to this one anywhere, she run for power and I know I'm going to tell my story how she is an unjust judge. She knew I was innocent and she still sends me to six months in jail. After she's an alcoholic, she has an accident in her car with her mother. She get put on probation and everything else and a teller. Here's a guy walking her courtroom. He was an alcoholic. He had an accident with his six kids. She threw the book at him. She bitched him out after telling him that she had had an accident as an alcoholic herself with her mother, who was old and couldn't really move or nothing. She had an accident with her mother in the car. Now she sent this brother to six months to a year for doing the exact same thing she did. She was a judge. She got a break. All her judge friends came and made sure she wore a teller and she was on probation. And after that, she went right back to the bench and had no sympathy when the man walked up there and had did the exact same thing she did, she threw the book at him. That's scary Mary Shinowski for you. And I guess she thought she'd never see me again after she did that foul shit to me. She didn't know she had did it to a Black Panther and I was coming back for her at any time and chance I got. So when she called herself running out in Macomb County to be uh, uh, whatever she was, I made sure I campaigned against her because she don't deserve to be a judge or nothing else. She deserves to be a private citizen. Understand this, when your daughter ODs on heroin, you should not take those type of cases. You should recruit yourself from taking heroin cases because your daughter OD. Now you're going to jump on the bench and you're going to kill every nigga or walk in there selling heroin supposedly. And I hadn't sold anything. And she heard my case. They say I sold him a key. Two weeks later, they come back and reamend the indictment and say, I sold them six packs of hair on. Wow. They didn't have no buy money, no video evidence. They didn't, they couldn't present not one other police officer, but the one that lied, Officer De Snyder. No other officers want to take the stand because they didn't see anything. So Mary Shinowski gonna be slick. She gonna cover that up and say, we ain't gonna have the other officers testify to save time because she knew they was gonna say they didn't see anything. And she didn't wanna have six officers walk in there and say they didn't see anything. And the cider saying, I walked up to the car and served him. So she knew that was gonna set me free too. She wouldn't let the jury hear that they had charged me with a key before they charged me with this six packs of heroin. She suppressed that and wouldn't let the jury hear that. She held me in contempt of court because I was screaming and yelling, this is a miscarriage of justice. So she held me in contempt of court and locked me up. And she called herself a judge, not knowing it burnt in my heart that lady one day, scary Mary Shinowski, you will see me again and you ain't gonna like it because I'm gonna be on the other end campaigning against you. I'm gonna be on the other end campaigning against you or making damn sure the public know about you. You scary Mary Shinowski. You a judge who's supposed to be impartial, but on two of her cars, both of her cars, she had guilty one. And when she drove the next one today, she had guilty two. So the license plates on her car read guilty one and guilty two. And you telling me this is an impartial judge? She riding around with a cars that say guilty one and guilty two. And you a judge. Let me say this to y'all and I'm gonna go. 
because the case gives me a headache to this very day. If you are a judge, you are impartial. You should not feel everybody who walks in your courtroom is guilty because everyone who walks in your courtroom cannot possibly be guilty. Your eyes and your numbers can't be that good. The reason your eyes and your numbers are that good is because you force the niggas to cop out and plead guilty. So she wanted a perfect record. You gonna cop out. She was so pissed off with me when I wouldn't cop out because I was innocent. And to this very day, I am innocent and I would never cop out to that bullshit y'all put down. I wanted the world and everybody else to see it. It is on file. Make them up county. Macomb County is definitely make them up county. Understand that. And when they got lit, they couldn't take it. They make, made up a case. Officer De Snyder is number one ring leader. Ice in lying, and he should be taken off the force for telling such lies, getting people locked up, and then just like Chris Cole. He that type of motherfucker. He getting everybody locked up, everybody locked up. Then when it was his turn to get locked up, you know what Chris Cole's did? He hanged him goddamn self. He couldn't take getting locked up and he had been fucking over us, trying to lock us up the whole time. And then when he got locked up, he hanged himself. Officer the Snyder, one day, you gonna get your day. Just like Judge Avery Corn got his judgment day. Now, Mr. Judge Avery Corn, Allah is judging you. You are in the defendant's seat, and God is judging you, Avery Corn. And I hope, I hope he do a better job than you did. Ha, 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 ha.